so when I woke up this morning, I expected to make a different video, but did I not expect the news of my favorite tennis player of all time, uh, Roger Federer, to retire? Uh, yeah, it actually hurts a little bit. I'm not going to lie, and I'm going to be very open and honest about this, so I'm just going to very raw emotion, if you can call it that. Um, when I first started playing tennis when I was nine, I would say the first person that I watched the full match of was Roger. I think the whole, the whole idea of watching him and trying to imitate everything that he did uh, from clothes to racket to the headband to the shoes that for me I really thought that it would be an amazing it, it was just an amazing experience to watch him and I and I remember so specifically and when he played Rafa in Dubai, I believe, and it was like the first time I watched Roger lose to Rafa actually made me really sad. <laughs> and I think that made me realize that Roger, again, wasn't that, it, it, he wasn't invincible because I always thought he was. And I think for me, the his legacy is much more than tennis. It's not him winning and while winning does make you more and more popular, just his character and his story and the ability to transform yourself into a hot-headed junior number one to one of the greatest of all time. I think for him, it, I think it was time because he is enjoying a life outside of tennis now, and I think now that this is gonna be, he announced today, literally five minutes ago, that Labor Cup, I believe, is gonna be his last appearance. I don't know, it's, it's gonna be different. I think we had a taste of what it was gonna be like the past couple of years after he got injured of what tennis was like without him. And I still think him being able to win a major in 2019, that was three years ago, but doesn't seem that long ago, really was amazing to see. Uh, my favorite, if I was to say my favorite memory of his was, I, I would have to say the 2009 French Open when he beat Robin Soderling in that final. I think for me, we after Rafa lost, we all kind of had the idea that he was going to be the favorite going into the final, but at the end of the day, it was a clay tournament, and it was, again, someone that just beat Rafa, so the fact that we thought, I, I personally thought that he had a chance of losing, but after watching that match, I was in middle school, and I, I recorded the match point, and I still think it's one of the most iconic photos in tennis when he fell to the floor and just started crying because even when he was receiving the trophy ceremony I remember on NBC the announcer said that players get a sort of um, general knowledge quiz about the French Open to see how much they know and what it says under the trophy um, like what's the trophy named after what's the what does it say on the trophy and i remember roger didn't even know because he didn't even he, he never got that close to it uh and i think the fact that he was able to at least win one of all four grand slams and pass pete sampras in that idea of not just being the new and improved Pete Sampras, but defining his own game and defining a generation of talent. It, and it, I hate to say it, but it, it does hurt that 
he won't and honestly and i hate to say this but with rafa and novak i think it, it will be hard to admit that roger won't be statistically the goat but he will always be my goat that inspired my game and inspired my generation and I I I don't know. It people now texting me that Roger retired. Um I don't want this to be that emotional, but I I just wanted to make this video to to just say thank you and if Roger ever sees this I really I really do hope that at some point in my life I get to meet him at some point in my life I want to interview him I know that's that's insane but that would be one of my goals for this channel I think Roger's ability to play in a way that complemented Rafa's and his ability to make tennis the way it was and is and it, it really shows you how great of not only an athlete but as a, not only as an athlete a tennis player but just as a human being and it's it's amazing to see and I never thought I would use this, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, you'll see, hold on. So I just wanna light this candle, and I wanna say, thank you, Roger. Thank you for your career. <laughs> thank you.